shallower for the laser dive bot dives. Ooh, look this at this. This is a cool little feature. Ooh. Oh, it's a nice this little ridge. This is the top, I guess, of what we're wow. getting to. Yeah. Could follow that for a second and just look at it. Um, so yeah, we were hoping now to see what's what's in between those depths. Uh, and started out around 22? No, eight, 18? What did we do? 22. 22 and uh, are working our way up. Now, I see a lot of like kind of pock marks. Oh, sorry, 1950s. What we what? started at. I... Yeah, I mean, it's, it looks kind of holy to me. Why? Is there any sort of reason why that could be, Daniel? Or just kind of erosion? See, yeah, why it's pot marked like this. So yeah. it's, uh, yeah, I could say it's erosional features where uh, the yeah, rock this is, is cool. Just, it is really cool. Yeah. The way the rock cools, it could also fracture. Is there oh, like right. a depression in the middle of this or? Uh, there's Does crevices. Does it stay elevated along the whole thing? Looks like it. Oh, another glowing thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, looked like some sort of jelly that we just passed. Did we just pass a sea dandelion? Is no, no, no. It was kind of darker. <laughs> Are y'all kidding me? <laughs> they were like, no, that's not. Sh <laughs> Don't Back worry. up the shit. <laughs> it was like, turn around. She has to make sure. <laughs> That was really cool. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, the that really sudden drop in elevation. Well, according to the sonar, we're only about halfway across the top of this thing. Yeah, oh. yeah. We can keep cool. Trucking along. Oh my gosh, there's. there's a lot of sea cucumbers around here. I'm assuming we're not collecting sea cucumbers, right? Oh, we can. I don't but. <laughs> I think uh, it's not really a priority. We're in depths where we know what these are. Mm -hmm. Do they change when you bring them up to the surface? Do they just like go, you know, squish? They don't always do too hot with the in collection ethanol. process. You have to slurp them because, uh, well, they're too delicate to grab. Yeah. And then uh, some, some enjoy being slurped more than others. <laughs> Use that little, little uh, net. Scoop them. Oh, yeah, that's true. You could do that too. That's a that's definitely an option. We used to not bring that with us. Do you think it would stay together if you use like you know medium slurp just to hold it? Yeah, I think that's what we usually do. Yeah. Not like a full. Oh, you mean just to hold it to slurp and put it in a box? Mm -hmm. Put it in the box, turn the pump on. Uh, yeah, maybe if it was gentle. It would be for one heck of a ride, <laughs> being a slurp and <laughs> spat out. <laughs> I think they tried to slurp. They tried to slurp something today, right? So or do you, do they, you still want to go across this, or uh, do you want to go down? Yeah, let's keep we'll going across. Oh, is the, this is the direction this we need to go it? now, yeah. right? This is, um, the sonar says we're still only about three quarters halfway, but it looks like it's a little off. Yeah, yeah. This is I'm okay. Just reading what's in front of us. Um, I don't. Well, what is that? Is it just a fish? Just I a fish. Uh, yeah. I feel like we should just bump across to the equivalent depth that on the next feature. Maybe go through the blue for a second. Oh, right. so pretty though. So vast. Unless I don't know, Hannaford, do you feel like you could back up, turn yeah, around, we can and back, back down? That's I fine. mean, if you're if you're happy with the speed, yeah, I'm you happy. You know, if we went across it, we'd do 0.5. You'd save a nickel, right? Yeah, but I'm happy with the speed. We can yeah, we can back we down for a little bit. Down. I mean, it's rocky. It's not. If it becomes a boring sandy patch, then we can maybe skip the bottom part of this. But it's still interesting. Yeah. So we're gonna go down. So yeah, we're gonna just turn around and back down it. So here's something I always wondered. So 
When it comes to the depth of the ocean, turn the other where way. we're diving, uh, sometimes it's hard to get a scale of just how deep we are. But if you kind of want to get an idea, about 40 meters is about the maximum depth for scuba divers, roughly. About 300 meters is the height of the Eiffel Tower. The f at 500 meters is deep as the blue whale can go. At 1,000 meters is the max depth that sunlight can reach. And if you go all the way farther down, about 1,800 meters is the deepest point in the Grand Canyon. The average depth of the ocean is 4,200 meters. And if you keep going all the way farther down, even farther than where we are here, about 8,800 meters is the height of the Eiffel Tower. Wow. I mean, sorry, uh, Mount Everest. Oh, wow. And 10,000 meters, you keep going. 11,000 meters is the bottom of the Marianas Trench, the deepest point in the ocean. Yeah. Now that's deep. So you sir, come Mount down Everest a bit on the Atalanta and then you'll see when you mm -hmm. start to get out the other way just to spin around. Yeah. Um, also, question, would this... I know we're seeing a lot of basalty type stuff. Do we care for a rock sample or no? Twenty. Do a one eighty. I think. We uh, got when you get there, you'll you can see on. Uh, oh yeah, one rock sample. Send a nav G map. You can put nav it's G up there. Rock. It might be more useful for you. Okay. Go on. Right, right, right. Down. All right. Sounds good. So we passed wave point two. We'll pass along. Yeah, I know we're moving mm -hmm. a little slow, but it's because there's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Which is fine. Point it's three. the point. Let's see. We've gone around 750 meters so far on mm. our track. I didn't from know where that. we started. And uh, not on our watch, on all the watches. Let's see, we had. I also didn't realize that the average depth you said was 4,400 of the ocean? Yeah, about 4,400 meters, wow. 4,200 meters in that range. Mm -hmm. That's deep. <laughs> That's really deep. And yet, in some parts of the ocean, you can fit a whole Mount Everest in there and still have room. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Daniel, do you know what the tallest mountain is? Uh, I believe it's Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Yeah, if you include the underwater, underwater area. All right, yep. starting to mm -hmm. turn. Sure, yep. It's quite a bit taller than Mount Everest, but the highest point above land is Mount Everest. But even with that, you still had to account for other factors that might have that record beat so the Earth is not a perfect sphere. It's actually kind of an egg shape because right. the which way you want to head because of the pull. So you'll be moon. facing around about 300 degrees. Okay, coming up. So there might be some points on Earth that are relatively higher All than right. other points because there of you go. the bulge mm -hmm. at, uh, around the equator. Right now, bring it up a little bit. My um, yep. mapping teachers taught me that. The Earth is kind of like a basketball that like a very heavy kid sits on, so it's <laughs> slightly smushed. Yeah, wider at the around the equator. Yeah. <coughs> and it, and then even yeah, it's even more complex than basketball shape. Like <laughs> it's just Daniel was clarifying. It's got all these. It's got kind of bumps that you prox approximate oh. a geoid. Yep, so the Earth is not a perfectly smooth, Ooh, round look at object. These rock formations. Are these the so called pillow basalts? These look like, these like flows, lava flows. Flow something? Yeah. yeah, they look a little ribbony. Really cool. Also, not a lot over here, which is really interesting. So, why is it called white pillow? What was that? Why is it called pillow? Oh, just because of the, just the shape. Yeah. 
Yeah, so when uh, lava is extruded from the earth and out into water, uh, it's rapidly cooled and it's almost like the way Adam described it to me. If you had, uh, if you ever uh, lit these types of fireworks growing up where it's almost like elephant toothpaste when you light it up and just kind of extrudes out. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how pillow basalts are in the water. Mm. And they just form these lumps that just get extruded out and just kind of roll out. And it's really interesting to see if you ever get a chance to look it up on YouTube. And we come across, like many of them we see here, but on our previous dive, we saw a nice wall of them. You could see they, they actually just look like these pillow-shaped rocks that are kind of uh, broken off with the uh, column near jointing almost. And it's really cool to see. Uh, and they're almost glassy in their texture, which is why they look like they break off in these big lumps. They also break off in big shards sometimes, too. Hmm. Oh. Thanks. Yeah, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a whole lot over here on the big scale. Um, like we said before, if we zoom in, I'm sure there's so much. Um, kind of looks like there's some sea whips in the background. Like all up here. I don't know if we want to go there or not. Um, where? Um, like up here. Can look real quick. I didn't, I didn't catch that. I just saw some pointy things. Oh, yeah. Maybe a crinoid, can't quite tell. And something on oh, the yeah. edge of that boulder, too. Also, right, I think this is a sea whip. Yep, some people in the uh, uh, chat suspect that it might be a section off a dike intrusion, where it's almost common to join in a fault, a fault line in a slope. Hmm. So all that might sound really fancy, but what dike intrusion is, it's like a mm. line of a mat, weird like small chrysogorgid. Oh, like oh, it. oh, we have someone moving on the still cam really rapidly. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, that's that like guy. really stretched out for yeah, us. That's all good. All good. Right there. <laughs> A cup coral. A couple cup corals over here. Mm. Thanks for the information, <laughs> Daniel. Yeah, whatever that yeah, no white thing is in the crevice was swimming really, really fast mm -hmm. <laughs> away. Sorry to scare you. So our dives, well, we plan them in many different locations, but uh, is there any idea of what we're looking for ahead of time? Like, how do we plan out our dives? I mean, what is our expectation of what we're diving in, in a previously unexplored location? Um, we're looking at the topography, and we're, we're trying to find features that we think will be interesting. We're targeting higher density communities that's what we're hoping to see um and you know based on on what has been seen on which slope faces uh at different depths on different seamounts we can kind of try to and what features we can tr kind of try to guesstimate what a community might look like and try yeah try our best to find higher density communities um so first we we map is the seamount. Can we look at? Is that just a I think shadow? It's just sand. Hey. No. Oh. Kinda we can look though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Go ahead and zoom. Oh, I think it's just a ridge actually. Yeah. It's just a <laughs> okay. Hoping for a wheel. Never mind. Going. Never mind. It's playing all right. tricks. All right. We're all. 
extra willing to go there with you. Because we're like, is it a whale bone? <laughs> <laughs> whale shark. Like this, you know, I don't know. No, I think she's looking oh, at the like other one. Oh. Uh, she's looking at, yeah. No, where is that one? Oh, yep. But it didn't, oh, it wasn't. Not that one. No, not, not that, that one. one. It's the <laughs> one up? The one above it. Uh, with the, yeah, yep. that one. <laughs> kind of. But. Yeah, I wouldn't even wow. try to go below <laughs> the family here. They all look the same. Yeah, except for <laughs> Swiftia and some Paramorsia. I'm like, mm. leave it at <laughs> Paramorsid. Is there any certain type of corals you're hoping to see? No, we're just hoping to see what there is. Looks like there was a sea star there, oh, maybe the, a brisbane yeah. or something. The other cool thing that they found that we haven't seen was a pictogonid. Yeah, I did. I uh, love those. Hear that. They're the sea spiders. They're really Looks cool. Looks like there's a holothurian there on the bottom, maybe. Oh yeah. Want to zoom on it? Sure. Why not? It's also a coral, I think. Yeah, I think we've, I've been Two seeing multiple one. of these small little plexor. I mean, paramorsids. Yeah. Oh, and a shrimp that's off to the bottom. Go ahead and zoom. Oh, look at it. I like how some of them are like darker than mm -hmm. others. What um? Ooh. What are the coral snips uh, that they have? Or did they they got one? Pretty. Loopy. Very pretty. It's just like a purple translucent tube. On oh, the yeah. It's ocean. a dead coral. Oh, that dead. they got okay. with associates. All right. Yeah. And this is a sea cucumber, right? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Okay. Mm. Starting to find a lot of these around. Yeah, they're really pretty. We have a good enough zoom. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Flood. One of the Cinelactids, same as what we've been seeing. Um. Yeah. I can put that in the chat too. Looks like this guy, this one, that, uh, mm. they all look similar, yeah. Ah, uh, no, mm. You know, I think it's this type. Um, I'll put it in the chat for you. Oh, Let's Hanson see. Etheria, yeah. I think you're right. Interesting broken up line. Uh, that took me a minute, but it's been in chat. Oh, and that didn't format correctly. But you get what I mean. Can we see what this is right here? Uh oh, what's that? Floater. Go ahead and zoom. Yeah, Chrysogorgia. Little one. Chrysis or Stilada. So little. I think these are one of the prettiest ones to me. I don't know, they're just so like delicate. Mm -hmm. yeah. It looks kind of yeah. like lace sometimes. It looks like it's good, thank you. happy, healthy polyps. Yeah, yeah. My, the Aritagorgia are my favorite of oh. all time. Those are so beautiful. Yeah. Love those. I like calling that a dust bunny coral. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Yeah. Looks like something I find they do, my couch. They do. Yeah. <laughs> no offense, though. It's pretty. It, no offense taken. When I was um, younger and my mom would like put me in timeout in the corner. I would uh -huh. play with the dust bunny. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, that's fun. I'm going to have fun over here. <laughs> okay. So, so far, 
plainly, we little Chrysogorgia mm -hmm. and Paramarissids. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another crinoid. Mm -hmm. Same one. Um, another Brazingid. And Wanna I zoom on it? Uh, yeah, can we zoom on the yeah. left there on the stars? Or the sea star? And a or whatever origin. it is. Yeah. Oh, did it, did it? that looks like Okay, yeah, go ahead and zoom. Like I think star, you're yeah. right. It's a Chrysler Gorge to the right. Oh, yeah, yeah. It might just be a Riddle Star. Yeah. It's big, though. Mm, yeah. yeah. Stretched out. Taking up oh, the no, space. That's a oh, no. That's a... Oh. I have to see the top. Oh, and look. There's a little um, Caliphacus in the still cam. Oh, nice. We do have sponges. Yeah. Okay, that's good, thanks. Okay, pull wide. Oh yeah, this is so much better since we were able to fix it. Oh the my god. still gosh. cam, I know. Yes. Game changing. Amazing. Although, do we have like the porch in every shot now? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it looks like they rotated yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, they did angle it okay. a little. Uh, Michael, do you know what the, the reason for the rotation was of the still cam? I assumed you'd asked for this the way Dan set it up. So. No, I did not yeah. ask for I can't it. stop for that one, if that's okay. Get no, keep going. Oh, behind no, here. that's fine. Get, go ahead. Um, I didn't know if it was maybe to protect I think it was a creative or touch something. or something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think we should creatively touch it back <laughs> in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just a little bit Now we've got a, a corner of porch in every picture. Excellent. <laughs> I like this little canyon thing we're seeing. Yeah. Maybe it's just for size reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Depth light. perception. Can you scroll this so we can see the ship as well? Another. There are a lot of these hands in Athuria. Yeah. You see cucumbers oh, everywhere. Yeah. I love them. My favorite. They were seeing a lot of um, alpidids. Is that how you say it? Mm hmm They saw a spiky one. Oh, well, that's not an outfitted, but um, they saw a dimatted. They saw oh. this one. Yeah, they cool. saw that. Cool. Ooh. Oh, a yellow stock credit. Ooh. I haven't seen those in a while. What have we seen so far? Like, does anybody know from our uh, previous watches what we've been looking at? They oh. were seeing like a lot, a lot. of little that different exploding. small things. Could we look at jelly? Yes. <gasps> oh yeah, actually that jelly. verse. Sorry, go to the right. Go to the right. Jelly. <laughs> go ahead, a little squishy. Oh gosh, uh, like partial. Little squishy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look what at that. Are you? Oh. Is uh, what? It's a oh sea yeah. dan wait, it's sea dandelion. It's a sea dandelion. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Wait, can we zoom on it a little more? Aww. Turn off the lasers, please. <laughs> <laughs> this when when I was asked the other day what my favorite animal was, and I had to go without thinking. Wow. I said this. Oh, oh look at they it. They are the greatest. Oh. Look at the little. T oh my wow. gosh, are those the ten? What are these big protrusions where the tentacles are? Are those tentacles too? Oh, oh, where oh. are you going? Oh. Oh. Where did you go? Oh, the snot <laughs> off. Come yeah. On. <laughs> it's scared. Oh, there's little... They went away fast. Black holes. <laughs> where oh did you go? I think we got some good pictures, though. It's gone. No. It's going to be a nice highlight. <laughs> <laughs> little baby. Want to zoom here? Uh, it's just a crying <laughs> It's okay. She's like, no, go back. <laughs> Okay. Um, nothing else matters. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We saw it briefly. So cool. <laughs> wow. That was really cool, though. <laughs> I love jellies. Oh, can we look at this? Sorry. I don't know if you're able to or not. Is that what that video is of it? No. Yes. This okay, is. Okay, go ahead. And there zoom. are a couple of really good videos That's of that. That's a really you photogenic can see. one. What is this? I'll explain more in a sec. Paragorgia? No. Tiny uh. brittle stars. Uh, I mean, Corallium. Uh, yeah. I could even It's very knobbly. I said, I'll see the brittle stars. <laughs> I don't know. 
There's no. Oh, um, I I'm. I always still want to say. Black coral in the hemicorallium, but it is it is a knobbly small hemicorallium. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, bubblegum coral or is this something? No, else? I don't think so. But it's also hard to tell if it's some weird skinny morph of a bubblegum coral. I never trust myself anymore because one of the things we collected. Okay, we gotta go. That's all good. Uh, all good. What? Thank you. Yeah. It looks like chewing gum, though. looked to me like a hemicrylium and was bubblegum coral. Yeah, bubble so bubblegum coral bubble is Paragorgia. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that could have been it. Could have been hemicrylium. Um, kind of difficult to see on just video. Like a lot of corals. But I know one is softer than the other. Hemicorallium is softer, right? That's Paragorgia softer. Oh. Hemicorallium is really brittle, so if you if you're ever oh, unsure, you I can meant. do the tap test. Yep. That's what I meant. More brittle, more fragile. Now, what are we looking at, Daniel, in terms of geology? What can you tell us? Yeah, so most of this rock here is basalt. So these mm. are basaltic flows. You can kind of see how ribbony it looks like, almost like it's flowing down mm -hmm. the hillside. So that's a good way to know that, oh, at one point this was lava. And yeah, most of the uh, rocks we see here are basalt as well. Mm. And that's perfect because that's how we know that this seamount was once volcanically active because that's how they generally form. They form out of the oceans and rise above, form islands, and then those islands eventually erode away down below the ocean surface and form these seamounts called guillotes, and that's what we're exploring right now. Wow, look at that slope. That's quite wild. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Real cool. Would you skateboard down that slope? <laughs> no, but I would maybe sled. <laughs> I don't know how to skateboard. <laughs> I've tried many times and have uh, been a little too bold in my endeavors and broken some bones. <laughs> no! <laughs> Aw. Well, at least you tried. Yeah. Um, I think can we even? That's crying about another Hansonothuria. Yeah. Oh, it's purple. There's something purple. There's also something. Oh, or there's a, two. A, a there's two. A stalactite of some kind. Ooh. We got two. We have the They're spiky friends. type too. <clears throat> oh yeah. So, what is that right there? It's a little purple. Yeah. It's also a sea cucumber. Cool. Both sea so cucumbers. So I would just put in general stalactite here. Would be for the for the purple one. Yeah. Um. Can I zoom in? This. Oh, we have a quadruple feature going on here. Also with the little star. Oh, yeah, look at those two. And That's then Ooh. the. Um, oh. oh, wow. One spiky. It's like a blob. One. Actually, now that we're closer, blob. I'm not even totally sure that selected. Yeah, so. Spiky one is a dame. I can't say it. Dame, dame added. added. Yeah, I'll put that in the chat for you. I don't know what that purple one is. Here, I can see if I can scoot up closer. I know it's okay. I think we have a good enough view. Good to Although the purple one's got a couple pokey bits too. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of pokey on the inside, which is interesting. I think it's on the outside, but it does look like it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a little, little mohawk on the outside. <laughs> yeah. I think we're good, though. Yeah, Thank you. Okay. I would just put, yeah, just put yeah. some elective. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff in this area, which is somewhat expected because we are also at a shallower depth. Um easier for things to live here with a little bit less pressure.
Yeah, we're about uh, 1,674 meters below the ocean surface. And in previous dives, we've gone up to around 2,200 meters below the ocean. So, yeah. No, it's we've, really gone, we've gone deeper. It's in this dive, we were kind of hoping to bridge the gap between the two <clears throat> sort of depths that we've been going to. We've been doing deeper, like 27 and up, 28 yeah. and up uh, to like 1,800 or so. And mm. then we've been doing... Another sea cucumber. Yeah. yeah. And then A we've been doing here. Uh, like 1,500 and... Here's something I always wondered. Do we ever find, say, like shark falls, like when sharks die and they just fall out the ocean? Do we ever find them decaying and just laying there? Hmm. I'd imagine Not that, that they're. I've heard of. I'd imagine that they're a little too small. Like they would just get kind of eaten a little too fast compared Ooh, to enemy. whales. Yeah. yeah. Even for like great whites or. Uh, uh, you know, what, what we just mentioned, oh. whale sharks. <sighs> Haven't well. heard of any being come across. It's definitely possible, probably, but we there's so much ocean. Who knows, honestly? Because, yeah, you would think, like, the larger the organism, the more time it takes to decay, but um, mm -hmm. in general, it takes a long time for everything to decay in the deep sea, but it's definitely possible. Yeah, we did just pass by an anemone in some sort of coral. Probably that paramarisa guess that we had yeah. earlier. An actinostolid anemone. We're back into the rocky bits. I love seeing the pattern on like the mapping of like where we've been. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It is nice. So yeah, we do have maps that we use to help plan out our dives. Often when we are looking to dive somewhere, we will map it out first using our uh, sonar technology. And we'll literally go back and forth over a seamount and create super detailed maps that Ooh, gives us a better idea fish. of where we're going to transect. Fish in the middle of the screen. Oh yeah. Do you want to yeah. zoom? Yes, please. Yeah. Long slender fish. Go ahead. Like most of them. <laughs> Is it a little tripod one? Looks um, kind of like that. Um, it's a halosaur. Yeah, I definitely should have brought my. Oh, glasses. they saw one of those earlier I was too. Not seeing which all were seeing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was like, it's just rocks. <laughs> what are they seeing? <laughs> it's just a crevice. <laughs> um, looks like this one, I think. Oh. It's just gonna go ahead yeah, and call it a halosaur. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Very skinny. But yeah, um, if you, if anyone listening has questions, feel free to message them to us. Um. And I guess I should plug that if you are watching and you have opinions on these areas and what we're looking at, um, very, very short, very, very soon, I think actually, I want to say it's the end of this week, um, The there's a marine national sanctuary being proposed for this area. We're right outside the monument. Um, and if you want your voice heard about these areas, you can go to our website. There's somewhere on our, our website where we link the, the first blog. The first blog, and I for think this they expedition. 
I think they also updated it somewhere else, but I'm not sure, but definitely the first blog, right? Um, you can make your voice heard and give your opinion, and it's a public comment. Yes. But yeah. So we have on our website, if you look under expeditions and oh, what's this? you find our expedition yeah. currently on a zoom. They see it, yeah. Yes, There's please. a link to the blog. shrimp yeah, a little black dark shrimp, dark shrimp yeah oh the black shrimp of the family <laughs> <laughs> could we get a quick zoom on the node on the branching node please oh with the polyps out hard to tell if that's nodal or not I want to say it's yeah. inter internodal. Quick, scare it. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What? So, yeah, probably no oh shark my calls because they don't have bones. But, but yep. I still <laughs> though like the decaying body, you'd think, but it yeah, it's, but that's it's really only in shallower waters. Yeah. yeah. Would wow. it be more so you would find a shark's tooth um, down Could we here? look at mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. We found megalodon crinoid. teeth before. I saw. Please. I, that's very interesting. Yeah, so, yeah. Man, imagine being the person there when they found that tooth. That would blow my mind. Quite wild. Inside the rock? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, cracking open a rock and seeing, like, anything inside it is like, whoa, to me. <laughs> so. Zoom in. Ooh. Oh, uh, we're quite spread out here. Trying yeah. to sit down. These are pretty, that's, yeah, that's good enough there. Thanks. Ooh, that's good, thank you. Okay, full wide. Um, just keep coming around to port there, Sarah. It's flattening out here now anyway. I'll flip back around and we will drive forward. Yeah, you can go back go back that way anyway. We're coming around. Ooh, and can we look at that whip. Whip. Please. Yeah, there. And then um Oh, sorry, I gotta let that it's one okay. go. Yep. Pretty. We're just getting All flipped good. around here. No problem. Then maybe up a few meters, Sarah, just because I'm gonna pass under here. Okay. So I just extra slack in the table. All right. Um, quick navigation update. The sure. wind is picking up, so we're mm -hmm. gonna start moving a little less laterally. We Another should whip. still. Want to zoom there? We should still make good progress towards waypoint Go three. Ahead. Yes, please. Um, what, in what direction do they need to move now? Uh, we just need okay. to move less laterally. So instead Bamboo. of going like we have oh, been, so oh, it's a squat lobster. Like one thirty and one a baby crino at the top. Yeah. We. So instead of going more like 
Yeah, could you show me on high pack? Yeah. What you what you have in mind? So we're Look going that like one. that direction, uh, but that's a little All bit too here. lateral. So we're yeah. gonna start just kind of you. You. going this way. Okay. Two nice um, one twenty. As long as we will be making it up that feature and not too kooky away. Yeah, yeah, we can. We'll probably just be a little off from waypoint three. We can always back down if we really yeah, want Yeah, the waypoints are, are not necessarily hit. so important, just following what seems to be like the interesting topography as we, as we scooch along where, yeah. you know, if the side of that little ridgy feature ends up being interesting, that's great. Mm -hmm. If it if if we want to try and get more on top of it, then we'll figure out how to navigate there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, and then it goes down again. Oh. <laughs> also, fun fact: squ squat lobsters are not lobsters. They're crabs. No, not lobsters. Okay. So then, face like 300 degrees again. Turn around to starboard. All right. Oh, there's a black, is that a black coral? Oh. Where'd it go? Uh, there. I didn't see it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, and a um, potential aridogorgia. Oh, a nice pillow Ooh. of basalts over here, too. Yeah. Bathy pathies, right? Yep. Looks like it. And an associate wow. or a shrimp? Floating away shrimp or pathies. That's good, thanks. Or I guess we could zoom a little closer. Yeah. Pretty. You said this is a black coral? Bath of pathies? Yeah, I'll tape it. We're good with that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. The way I, I just felt I. that. <laughs> 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 you never know. Oh, and there was really thin coral next to it too, but um Peel, I'll excuse you for a moment, I'll be right back. All good. And an Ambalula in the sand. We don't need to look at it, but oh, it was yeah. there. I think they were seeing quite a few of those on the last watch, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they sample any of them? No. The Ambalula? Yeah. Should no. Okay. I think we're all good. Okay. All the samples we have is sponge clipping, medium rock, dead coral, and whalebone fossil. Okay. Cool. Wait, for real? They got another whalebone? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. They did. <laughs> Two chunks of it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Again, big rocky feature with not much on it. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you noticing much current? It doesn't look like there's a ton. No, there's no current. Yeah. Hmm. I guess that makes some sense. Although before, <laughs> you know, I know, didn't seem to be a huge <coughs> factor. Yeah. Wow. The vast expanse of rock. Is that better? Hmm. Shrimp. Shrimp. So, Lila, why yes. is the sea dandelion your favorite? Just because it's cute? I mean, the way Pretty. that they move, those, the, the their little. nectophores on top, because they, they like jiggle. We didn't get to see it in full <laughs> jiggle action, but they like, they wiggle and jiggle oh, and can like. Can we go over here? That was so Maybe. bad. Jet <laughs> propulse. And the nectosomes on top, or nectophores on top are all 
working so hard to get places and then they have like a, like a dandelion. Mm -hmm. They, oh, there's a, yeah, do you want to see this one trap. first? Or no? Uh, it's okay. Okay. They release all these little particles as they, as they fly about. I just love it. They mm. also have these long threads they can use to attach to the seafloor. Oh. And jiggle around all attached. Oh, wow. That's They're really cool, actually. Cute. What is this? Go ahead and zoom. Oh. And they're siphonophores, so they're an interesting, I think it's another hemicorallium. They're another interesting colonial organism working together. Right. Hemicorallium or Paragorgia. I still have literally, it's, oh, and look at all the so sea whips in, so the, small, in the background. Many sea whips in the background. Oh. <laughs> But all right, good enough zoom. Thank you. Okay, full wide. It's very difficult, but I think with how of. narrow, with how small that is, I want to say hemicorallium. Mm hmm. Like how thin. Yeah. I don't know. So hard to tell. I don't know, but it looks really knobby. Mm. So yeah, tough. Yeah, I mean, it so tough. Hemicorallium still does look pretty knobby. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. when the polyps are closed, yep. where it come, they come out of ends right. up looking pretty knobby. Very tough. I'm pretty sure that at least that last one was yeah. a Mhm. Mm I see it now. Well, we know there's a lot of small things. Mhm. Mm there's another uh, little thing over there, yeah. Do we want to look at it? Or sure. No? There's something over here if you're able. Okay. A little cucumber. No, it's small. Oh, oh, the there. sea cucumber? Nope, that right there. Oh. Yeah. There is another, I forget what it's called. The Hansenithrid, yeah. Only if it has that little purpley bit. It does, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Right yeah. I think I can see it at least. I think we've seen them a, a we've couple We've seen a times, lot of those, yeah. yeah. Even on like other dives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead and zoom. Oh, oh sorry. Get tugged around. Another bamboo, I think. All right. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Oh, and some dead sponge bits maybe around. Mm. I think bamboo. Yeah. Poor little starfish got kicked off the tower. <laughs> oh my god, that's so yeah, right. It's like, club. give me your hand! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't let go! <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, full one. Should I uh, turn because of our there. wraps? Oh, There's look at that one. Oh, thing back to we're going to spin around anyway. So you only got half, a, you only got half right? Yeah, we, we're in opposite directions. One. Oh, that doesn't matter. They're two yeah. two separate cables, right? Yeah. So yeah, they don't. That doesn't have any bearing on it. Uh, it's only. Usually for Herc. We try and get it right, but you know when we're operating, we always have half a turn in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's like better to have a negative turn. Sometimes it's better to have a positive because the thing might be out by like a quarter, the, the tether itself. Gotcha. So if it's perfect, it doesn't matter. But usually one way is like slightly better. Okay. But it doesn't have anything. Doesn't matter what the six eight one is.
look at those like swirly bits. In the rock, yeah. Yeah. That rock kind of looks like an angry crab, <laughs> kind of center looking? left right here. An angry crab. Okay, I'm going to try and see it. I don't, yeah, it's <laughs> kind of me using kinda my imagination. I really look in the yeah. clouds. I kind of saw what? like a carapace, kind of saw an eyeball, two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like the other day, right, she was trying to around, convince Daniel there was like a fish there. in the cloud. <laughs> there she literally was. <laughs> so serious and about that. Just come like, up a few meters, I'm not uh, seeing it. Uh, <laughs> I'm delusional at all hours. <laughs> but turn around. Oh wow, this clarity is like not there. Which I guess kind of makes sense. We're looking. Are we looking downwards? Yeah. Well, now it's down slope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just spun yeah. back around. We're kind of right. in oh. a little bowl. Yep. Went up too high. Mm -hmm. About to start climbing again. Hmm. Let it out. Oh, I see. I see. All right. I'm spinning. On the on the mesotech, the top of the sonar is looking ahead, right? Yeah, uh, just let that scan again because she's she's yeah, in the middle yeah. of a turn there, so yeah. I don't know what. Yeah. The <coughs> now there's another ledge. This is kind of all over the place. Yeah. Oh, can we look at some of what's on? Yep. Like this over here, I'm curious about. And then it looks like there's some whips ahead. Or in the back, I think. Little thing. On yeah, the left over there, in yeah. The yeah. Bottom right, there's a fish or something. Bottom left, left yeah. yeah. Oh, left. Oh, <laughs> and it's gone. What is this little thing, sponge thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Go ahead and zoom in. Hmm. It's a really interesting shape. Yeah. Ooh, what? The black coral. Oh, wow. No, dead. Uh. Umbilopathies. I don't know. Please hold. <laughs> <laughs> current is pretty strong here. Okay, full good. wide. Okay. Yeah, it looks like um, this one. Actually, uh, I don't know. No, it doesn't look like that one. Mm, maybe. It looked like half of an umbilopathies or something. Oh, there's our fish yeah. friend. I like, think umbilopathies. Maybe, I don't know it, if it was curling Oh, that's though. interesting. Al alternatopathies. Mm. Huh. Do a partial zoom? Oh. Sure. Yeah. Wow. Putting on a show. It's a halosaur, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh. Wow. Pretty. Love how simple their body plan is. Body shape. 
And I love how they wave in the water like a ribbon. Yeah, the undulation. It's really pretty. Is this one doing it on, on its own, or is this going with the current, you think? Um, it's doing that oh. on its own into yeah. the current, it looks like. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? Thanks. Mm. All right. Let's see what else there is right here. Oh. Oh, what's that? Um, a jelly. Uh, wow. Not sure what type, because it was fast. Oh, and there's something. Another jelly. But it went away. What are you seeing there with the weather? Um, it's not supposed to be this windy, but <laughs> <laughs> weather forecasts aren't super accurate all the way out here. The name of the game. Could we look a bit more to the left, please? I thought there were some things on this, but oh. maybe not. Something just floated by. Did you know that today is the 20th anniversary of Finding Nemo? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yep, it is. 20 and years? That's yeah, 20 crazy. Years old. You know what's wow. even wilder? It's Paolo's birthday. <gasps> I know. Yes. Birthday. I was thinking birthday. the same thing when he was like, you know what today is? I was like, Paolo's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> that means cake. Mm, oh, yeah. That does cake mean cake. Hopefully chocolate. I am so but sad she likes. that <laughs> Paula asked them about chocolate chip cookies, and they said they didn't bring any. Any? <gasps> not a single chip? Not a single chip? They brought only oatmeal raisins? Yes, and it was like, and those <laughs> oh, are already like pre-cut, so they just kind of like just put them in the oven and call it. Yeah, oh, yeah, so that is the deal, but we've so never not had chocolate chip yeah, cookies. Yeah, she asked them, and they did not bring any chocolate what? chips, so my heart is broken. Can we just, oh okay. my god, they can't even take out the raisins. They no. can't, and I don't like the <laughs> raisins. <laughs> we just a, have to find a way to make our own chocolate chip cookies. It's a good oatmeal cookie, yeah. but without the raisins. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, we've had, so we get these little snacks at, at like 3 o'clock, and yeah. we're very, very grateful for them, but every single cookie we've gotten is oatmeal raisin. <laughs> and trust me, I love, I love oatmeal raisin, but when you get oatmeal raisin for like the seventh straight day, it just, it, it becomes a lot. So um, we were wondering That's where the like chips a... were. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It's okay. Now we... I'm just going to continue just to depend on Sundays for ice cream. There we go. And the occasional pack of Oreos we find. Yes, Ooh, and the occasional star. Oreos. Oh, oh yeah. Can we I just look at that sister? Nine through those. Yeah. Are we, where are we ship move-wise? Are we waiting on one or? Oh, we're in one right we're now. We're in one right now? Yeah. Okay. We can stop, though. No, no, no. Go ahead, just zoom. a quick zoom. Love to keep going. Ooh. I've seen this one quite a bit too. This is I a Gonia Stare. Oh wait, no, it's not a Gonia Stare. Um, it's Patrick. I was about to say the Zora, same thing, Daniel. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. You too. <laughs> I always forgot. Lila doesn't watch SpongeBob. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> So what did you watch growing up, Lila? Uh, we went over about? this. Uh, Arthur, Cyber Chase. <laughs> uh, uh, I think it's a good enough zoom. Thanks. Hold on, sorry. Okay, I'm trying oh, okay. to figure this out at the same time. Oh, no, no, no. You're good there. I was about to say. I think we can. Um, the Sabenthopectinid. Hmm. Yeah, I was about to say. Chiroster. Kind of didn't really have that white, though. Yeah. But it, it's... I guess they it don't know doesn't matter. Uh, actually, it wasn't this either. It, wasn't it didn't that have this range, many. It? Uh, the, not that part, but the spines, yeah. I feel like, weren't quite, quite right. I think it's that, though. I think maybe the white is just not It as looks like that one. It does. Because it had that oh. really, really distinct, like, outline. Yeah, like a yeah. mushroom. I wish oh. I could zoom in on these pictures. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a, weird that's a really long polyp. Oh. Can we zoom on that quick? Uh, if yeah. we're able. Go ahead and zoom. 
Oh my gosh. Oh wait, is it? Oh my god, look at that. That's a weird. That <laughs> Why does it have one <laughs> really long polyp? The what others is going are all on stunted. Here? And what is this like? It's, oh, it's a, a sea another cucumber sea cucumber. Full of poop. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is really interesting. That's funny. So what is this uh, organism? Is it a that is mushroom a coral? mushroom coral, but yeah. like with really asymmetrical ball of growth. Yeah. Really doing well in one direction. All right, we're good this way. Oh, there's a baby sea okay. cucumber. For what? There's an, there's another coral to the left of it, um, but I think that's yeah, that's all right. Mm -hmm. I think I got a picture of it. Yeah. Um, what do you think this is, Leela? Oh, that's a sea pen. A rock pen? It's growing on a rock. <laughs> or is it a oh, yeah. Weird. It looks like a black coral, actually, to me. I think I have. A black skeleton. Hmm. Is someone touching their mic? Sorry. Oops. So sorry. I don't, I don't think it's you. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, really? I have my mic muted. Got it. Actually, it might have been you. <laughs> is that better? Oh, was it hair? Yeah, I don't hear it right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, <laughs> my bad. What happened? Glad it's better. It my hair was just rubbing. Uh oh giving a little show in the for the I audio. Know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, what's funny is like I would stand up and look like all right whose mic is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just me. Amber just stays quiet, quietly stews about whose fault she knows it is. <laughs> well I had like everybody adjusting individually. <laughs> <laughs> I was say it's funny because like you just look over and she's just like standing up looking at us <laughs> and then sits back down. <laughs> Man, that is such a wild shot. <laughs> That's funny. Just really one bridge. Oh, still wasn't focused? I know. Well, this was kind of out of frame. Oh, okay. But, um, I feel like we should be I able know. to get that. You can it was also make the shutter speed, like mess with the higher. shutter speed, make it okay. faster. Because this is good, kind of. Even that, though, but I yeah. think we can get better. All right. I, I would, will, I yeah, I'll play with it. Turn up the ISO and make the shutter speed faster. Oops, uh, I always I, do the wrong way. I know, it's kind of hard to, it, not intuitive. You said turn it up? Uh, yeah, because okay. uh, you can do it one more click even, maybe. Okay. Uh, sorry, other way. Yeah. Cool. We'll see Try how this works. Next time we're closer. Whole lot of rock. Different types of rock, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mostly the same, but... Oh. Different shapes. Uh, different sizes. Yeah. Different sizes. <laughs> All common different sizes and shapes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and some sort of... From pebbles to angular cantaloupes. <laughs> so, Daniel, is there a reason why... You see how it's kind of like a flat rock surface versus all these little... Well, not little, but rocks just Eroded like kind of separately. Ooh. Is there a reason for that? Uh, yeah, so it's like pretty much just a natural erosion where uh, bits of rock will just you. fall off due to, like, say, uh, you probably won't find much of it down here, but say, like, thermal expansion and, and retraction. So things expand when they warm up and they retract when they cool down and then they crack open. That does that might not happen too much down here in deep ocean given how cold it is, but that could be a factor. It's also like a lot of it's just natural rubble that comes from uh, you know, the breakdown of rock over time as the geo started to erode. So many of these rocks could have also been from that. As well as them being uh, you know, just pillow basalts that just strewn everywhere that were extruded from the uh, below the crust. So, so yeah, you just find stuff that's broken up, just depending on a variety of those factors. But 
if, to get these yeah, big smooth surfaces, there. that's mostly just oh, yeah. like what is that? lava flows. Like little oh. thing. Oh, cool. Like encrusting oh. sponge, maybe. No, that's a Her. rock oh. cracked open. I think. Oh. Zoom in. Oh, I think it's just Chris Gorgian. Oh. Up top. Uh, oh, this right here is just Chris Gorgia. Yeah, yeah, we're okay actually. Just kidding. Okay. Thanks. So oh, tiny. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, it is really small. Sorry oh. to interrupt. This is a freshly. Ooh. Well, I don't Ooh, know how fresh, Pretty. freshly cracked rock. Why is it all yellow? Maybe volcanic clastic hmm. sediment. It looks like a sedimentary rock. Maybe some bigger could, chunks in there. Could also be like s uh, sulfur minerals hmm. depositing on it. True. So I got a joke for you all. Oh, not this. Yeah. Is that, oh, yeah. is that time of the night? Yeah. 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 Time 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 I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the um, Daniel Price comedy hour. So, yeah. <laughs> so how does Squidward feel when an eel oh slithered into his clarinet? Oh, what? <laughs> an eel slid <laughs> into his clarinet? Yeah. Tickled? Uh, he felt, uh, he felt electrocuted. shocked. Oh. <laughs> you gotta give us so a chance close. to guess, Daniel. <laughs> you were on point, though. You're you on the money. You're too good. Here, I'm gonna one? give you a riddle. <laughs> Up too slow. All right, here's the answer. <laughs> I, got I like how one. you got it, even though you don't watch SpongeBob. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you so, where does SpongeBob go to the hospital? Oh geez, um, um, the dishwasher. Could we look <laughs> there? Quick? I think it's a little cup coil, maybe. It is. In um, the squid ward. Squid. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. I don't know why I was thinking of that episode oh. where it was like, actually, we need I think it's <laughs> Zoom in. Yes. Is, oh, there's also a, um, a bamboo potentially next to it. Mm-hmm. Little cup. Such long tentacles. Mm. Actually, Ooh. it's a weird. Is it, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this angle needs to be. Fixed. Yeah, I, I Chrysogorgid actually. It's a little. Oh yeah. Gorget. Oh, and look, um, there's like a little. That's uh, good. Thank you. Was that yeah, another one of the to the left, the alternate apathies or something? Kind of looks like it. Yeah, this angle needs to be changed. A little bit up. I know, it's kind of not useful looking <laughs> down the porch. A little bit up. <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting there. We're getting there. The camera mm -hmm. settings are beautiful, though. Yeah. How are, How is that working with the faster shutter speed? Oh, incredible. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And then we good. have this. That's not that Actually, the ISO can maybe even come down, down, a, down a little bit. Yeah. Down a, a setting, a one click. Yeah. All right, keep them coming, Daniel. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've got them queued. <laughs> so, what has no beginning, end, or middle, and touches every continent? Mm, no be beginning, be end, or ocean. middle, and touches every continent. The atmosphere? It's not, not the ocean? Oh. It is the ocean. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that one was simple, that one. but that's starting off light. I mean, Plus the ocean kind of has a beginning. Is that a sea urgent? Oh. It's an, I think, an anemone. Or an anemone. Looks very round. It's anemone really or urchin? flattened. It's just like Maybe a... Maybe it is an... I don't... It's an anemone. Oh, that's an anemone. Oh. Ooh. Is it like a Lipanema pom-pom anemone, but just like not very lively? Not a lot of... Uh, ooh. Yeah, oh, ooh, yeah ooh, 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 I think ooh. it's a Lipanema. But uh, it's... Come up on Atlanta a few Wednesday, meters. Wednesday, like the Adams Family? It looks like Cousin It. Cousin It, it yeah. <laughs> Zoom in. Ooh, and the small little... Usually you see these all, like, waving in the current. Oh, this yeah. This one is just, like, yeah. Kind of taking a nap. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Cute. Thanks. Okay. 
full wide. Uh, keep coming up. It's a bit close there. It looks like a wig, honestly. It does. <laughs> All right, so I got another riddle for you. Okay. If you throw a red stone into a, the blue ocean, what happens to it? Uh, it goes from being red to blue. Oh uh, no! Doesn't it turn purple? Nope. It gets wet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, that's a sad life anemia. Oh. Yeah, cool though. It's cool to see the mouth. You know, usually I don't yeah. see the mouth of the life anemone. Also, anemones, so. an, a oh yeah, there's a little, it's like a sponge. baby Walteria or something. Yeah. Tiny, uh, I think there was tiny sponge. Yeah. Loving, oh. loving the still Kim usage. Yes, I, I'm telling you, it can be nice when it's working. Sad I'll do. <laughs> Another right, zoom there. Oh, an Aritagorgia, I think. Yeah, to uh, this one. Maybe our first one of this yeah, watch. It is. It is Aritagorgia bella. In. Ooh, is that because the branches are a bit farther All up? Concentrated at the front. Yeah. Yeah. And some shrimp breads. Always love seeing these. Yeah, can we take a closer Ooh. look at the associates? Oh, I Very think that's pretty. a shrimp. Yeah, there's yeah. two of them. Two oh. shrimp. Beautiful. Look nice. at that center spiral. Thank you. Yeah, try and get over the The two. best is when you're, you're like in front of a really big Magnus Frels and you look down the barrel of it. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. Something. Uh, oh, we got Hawaii. Yep. Yeah, come on, yeah. And what is this again? Aritagorgia Bella. Got you. Very pretty. Oh, we're seeing um, some more of those yellowy corals. Um, we can keep going though, it's okay. Do we want to? Yeah. Could we look at this here real quick? If we can't. Kind of looks if like If we it. have to catch up, that's okay. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I missed that. It's all right. I could have done it. Sorry. No that's worries. all right. It's not too important. It's something we saw, seen before, I'm pretty sure. Well, this is already oh. feeling decently steep, and it's only going to get steeper, so... Ooh, interesting. What um, depth are we supposed to get to? The bottom, do you know? Uh, on the dive at total? Least, no, just this kind of concavity, I guess. Oh, we're we're going up again. We're past the concavity. Okay. We're out of the bowl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that looks okay. You can't tell me that looks. That doesn't look like a gopher or like a beaver. Come on. I was thinking more. I come on. went to OSU and I don't even see it. What? Where? There's like an eye right there. The oh. little you these eyes. I'm sorry. No, it's just one. Yeah. It's like I swear in that egg that I saw eyeballs. That literally looks like, <laughs> like a chipmunk or a beaver. I swear. Yeah, that egg last night. No She's more. Like, Never it's mind. It's looking at me. <laughs> it was. It was. I tried really hard. I squinted. I gave it the yoga glance. I was like, I don't know. It looks like actually I'm trying it looks to see like it was my third eye. But <laughs> oh, what's that Pokemon that's like the pupa? I didn't watch Pokemon. Hold on. Sorry. I'm going That's the only one I know. Um, this one. Hold on. Looks exactly like this looking at me. <laughs> um, Kakuna. I saw the face. Like that. Did not huh. see beaver, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. To me, it looked like a kidney. 
<laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. It was the way it was shaped. It was yeah. very kidney. A kidney? <laughs> yes. Yep. That's better than your beaver. <laughs> Look. I'm going to take, I'm going to. So much shade. I'm going to take photos of these and start drawing it for you all. I swear. You're going to see my vision. You notice a lot of shapes, too. Like, whenever we're outside looking at the sky, the sky, you see faces everywhere, and I don't see it. <laughs> How's the, have, how'd the ship say they were doing? They oh, are good. doing good. Great. Yeah, it's. It's really bouncing around. It's pretty gusty, but so far, no problem, so. Sounds good. Oh, there's a um, something here, if we can look at it. Is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the tiny little white thing. There's very tiny little skinny protrusions everywhere. Yeah, and they're all kind of different. That's Go ahead and see. That one looks like it's had something eating it. It does. It's kind of it gone at the top. Whatever was eating it, I don't know, is uh, not there? It's, it has left the premise. It was a bam, it is a bamboo. Is there like a tiny little sea star? I don't know what that thing is where their polyps are. Almost looks like a mollusk. Maybe. A worm. It's oh, the it's worm. A worm. Is that what's eating it? Perhaps. Mm, we don't know. There looks like another brown at the base. Hmm. Bit too, maybe. Oh, I kind of yeah. Oh. All right. I oh, think we're good. Thank you. Brown a bit. Sorry. Yeah. I see a lot of. A lot of. Other skinny corals in the back, too. We don't need to zoom on them, though. This, what is this? <coughs> so I got a riddle for you this time. Okay. Another one. So what do you call a man with no arms and legs floating in the sea? A um, Portuguese man of war. I feel like this one's morbid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can we look at this? Yes. Not really. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know. What is it? Bob. Bob. <laughs> 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 he just bobs in the ocean. <laughs> oh, do we have a white sea star? We do. Ooh. Ooh. Looks uh. like Patrick's been sitting out in the sun too long. I feel <laughs> like it. Uh, this is like what you would see at like a souvenir shop, all bleached yeah. out. Go ahead, zoom. In Shell City. Shell City. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, this is really <gasps> pretty. Wow. Oh, look at those tube feet. I love tube feet. Holding on for dear life, and look the at peta, them waving around. Peta, peta pu wait, what are they called? Peta pu. Pe Pet uh, something. Oh. I the know what you're talking ones. about. They are called stinger ones. Oh, that's not not sea star podiatry. Um, is it trying to catch food with the end of its feet? It does. Yeah, it does that's look what like they it's do. Use, it's feeding like that. That's not what all sea stars do many of them avert oh their stomachs over uh things other invertebrates and things that they're eating they also use them for fighting i think hmm. can't oh. remember though uh sorry if i try to see if i can get a little closer as i say i think we're good actually are you talking okay. about the papillae Thank you, though. yes <laughs> So for starfish like these, do they Papule. do they have the same orifice that All right. they Hold on. that they eat from? Be also the same one that they extrude waste from? Uh, no, they have a they have their mouth on the underside and an anal pore on the top side. Okay, I don't know where I got that mixed up. 
They also on the top side have their madreporite, which is where they take in water for their water vascular system. So all of those tube feet on the inside of their body, there's a little bulb, like picture like a little, you know, mm -hmm. syringe bulb that, that uh, attaches to that water vascular system and they can contract each one of those and then that pumps water into the tube foot below it and then they they do that sequentially with their different tube feet to to pump different ones out at different times and, and walk. I believe they're pedicel pedicellaria. Pedicellaria. Yeah. The, the ones that look like birds. Yes. Oh no 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 I'm thinking of a avicularia Pedis that's on they the look like this. On Bryzoans. Yeah, yeah. pedicellaria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very cool. I haven't seen a white sea star yet. So, it was fun. Horse, is that what it is? Oh, no. Very cool, though. Um, another Chrysogorgia in the background. So Chrysogorgia are pretty dominant in this area, it seems. It's fun. Yeah, these little ones, small yeah. Chrysogorgia. What's a common Ooh, name what for... What is floating right here? They're gold corals. I think it's just a shrimp, actually. Just kidding. Actually, is it? Uh, maybe a sea pig. Why don't you do a partial zoom? Yeah. I think it's a sea pig. Where? Uh, right in the middle of the screen. Here. Yeah, zoom it. Oh yeah, float it, floating. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, cute. Spiky. All right, we're good. Thank you. <laughs> it's a funny looking one. Yeah. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> when they're filled with like a lot of sediment, mm. it's a lot. Mm. It's a lot to look at. Okay. You're like <laughs> looking at a colon. That is kind of yeah, funny. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. I've seen clips of some holothurnians on YouTube where they just crawl across the seafloor, eat sand, and then just like yeah. poop out sand, mm -hmm. and it looks like continuous stream toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, it's really like concentrated and densely packed. Yeah. Yep. Um, Holothurians. Yeah, they ingest sediment. Ooh, can we look at this, please? If we are able. Um, Holothurians ingest sediment and just pick up Go whatever ahead, organic material is in them and then spit back out the sediment. Spit it out the other end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they don't puke it out, yeah. Um, bamboo. Yeah, that is not a primnoid. It's a bamboo. Yeah. Can't see the bands, no. though. It's good things. Okay, yep. for what? It's hard because it's got to be now like right in front I know, of the porch I if know. you want to have it be in the center where it's. It's so tough. Where it's in focus, we're best in focus. Yeah. Got some good shots though, which is better than what we were getting. Mm -hmm. So here's something that I've always wondered, and many people in chat wondered. So why are they called sea stars, not starfish sometimes? Well, they're not fish, so I always take issue with the starfish term. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's mm -hmm. a sea star, yeah. Yeah, they have like uh, basically nothing in common with fish except for like a yeah. central nervous system, basically. And ev even that they don't really they have. It's like ganglia. Yeah. 
concentrations of nerves. Do we want to look at that or no? I think that uh, might just be another yeah, I think it's another. I think those are the two things we're seeing the most are these little paramyrcids and, this, and the little chrysogorgids. Mm -hmm. Which, what, what's the coral that we have collected, um, Loopy? Um, I think it just says dead coral. Oh, that was dead. <laughs> yeah, it was a dead one. Uh, are we out in front, Mike? Uh, what do you want? Uh, I'm just thinking about one of these have, little yeah. yellow paramorsic corals. It looks like corals. there's also one in, like, yeah. Like a snip of one of these. It doesn't have to be this one. We've been passing multiple, but... Go for it. Okay. So I wonder yeah. what that pinkish... Do you want to stop Very the pink. ship? Might as well. Oh, is that a pink? That's a really pretty crinoid with a squat lobster on it. Is, is Oh, it's it like a white crinoid, white stalked crinoid. Yeah, you can uh, see yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. But yeah, pretty pink. Yeah, could squat we lobster. actually yeah, zoom on that? It's like a whitish. Whenever yeah, your yeah. position. Oh, I have it on the still cam if you want. Oh, just kidding. Never mind. We've got it on still cam. I guess it's good to have it in the video. Yeah, yeah. our viewers want to see it. <laughs> uh, would you mind going back to that? I think that that uh, that that is. Well, it's hard from this angle to tell if that's umbellopathies or crinoid. Oh, you're right. I think Actually, it's umbellopathies. Yeah with the squat lobster menacingly on top. Zoom in there a little on the Zeus. I love their little pinches. What do we have in the front bio box? Um, uh, in the front? Yeah, yeah, so just a right? snip of this, like 10, a little more than 10 centimeters would be nice. So in the front and Lamba, we have the whalebone fossil. Ideally not cutting the snake star in half. And then, yeah. um, and the Omega, we have the deceased uh, coral uh, and the sponge oh. clipping, uh. which... One second, sorry. <laughs> Taking pictures. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. We could take more of it, so damn it. There's a lot of them, so... Yeah. If this we also can take the whole work. thing. Yeah. I'm sure the star will unfurl itself. <laughs> yeah, I know one of the samples was supposed to have a brittle star with it. And it simply didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. They're fast when they need to be. Uh, public safety announcement. The bridge just informed me that it's very gusty and rainy outside. Oh. Okay. Uh, porch, please. Toolbox. Uh, Lambda. Tool tray out. <coughs> um, we can put it in. Yeah, it's fine with the whalebone. That's all good. The whalebone left lambda. And lambda. What number sample is this? Uh, 89. Awesome. It's beautiful. And what is this again? Like what coral? That's, we were thinking, thinking maybe a paramaricid. I love how the squat lobster is just watching, like, glad that wasn't me. <laughs> if we could take a quick look at that uh, coral that the squat lobster is on, that'd be great. Take a very quick one, because we can get the side. Air on mute there, Mike. It's going to be quick, he said. That's fine. Zoom in. Okay. Um, yeah, it yeah, looks like umbellopathies. Um, All right, we're good. Oh, oh yeah. he's so fuzzy. Fuzzy. Squallops are so cute. Yeah. I like All right, how that's he great. Shows, Thank you. 
Like okay, full wide. You can move the ship again. Awesome. I like how fuzzy they are. It's like they're wearing a little sweater. <laughs> they're more spiny. It looks fuzzy. It's more spiny. They're yeah, they're not. They're spiny. Oh, it's definitely this. Oh, what does that mean? No genus? I would no idea what that means. Uh, I don't think it's that one. It's this one. Oh, well. Well, I would just put some kind of chirostylid. Yep. I like how the squat lobster is matching with his home. <laughs> <laughs> Style. He's a big fan of interior decorating. <laughs> Ooh. Is Speaking that a decorator of, crab joke? I was just about to say, we haven't <laughs> seen a decorator crab. Yeah. Wow. Love those little ones with their sometimes anemones on, on their backs. Are those a type of hermit crab, or is it something different? Uh, yes, hermit yes. crab. What depths are they usually found at? Ah, uh, they're deep. Yeah, um, you can find them deep too. Let me see though. Yeah, they're deep. Quite deep. Uh, -huh. uh what length of ship move did you put in? Uh, length, fifty yeah. meters. Cancel it and put. Just do twenties because you're okay. on the slope now, right? Look at uh, this if we're mm -hmm. Rocks for days. It's jelly. Yeah, I think we've been seeing the same type of jelly go by. Not the sea dandelion, unfortunately, <laughs> but um, <laughs> whatever other one we saw. Bluish. So while we're looking, uh, I think the riddles are a nice change of pace with the jokes. So okay. here's one for you. If you rearrange the letters of postmen, what do they become? Of what? Postmen. Postmen. Let's look at this if we're able. Uh, uh, sure, yeah. Well, they could become lots of things if you played Wordle. <laughs> uh, yeah. Toastman. Doesn't work. Um, Is there a genre of word? I guess you can just keep thinking of stuff. Um, I want another sea cucumber. Go ahead, zoom. Looks like another bamboo, I think. Yeah. Um. SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> another um, bamboo, yeah. All right, we're good. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Full wide. It's more of like an know. anti joke. So, oh no. if you just keep rearranging the letters and you don't come up with something, eventually you'll come be annoyed. You'll and that's how it spells. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was too <laughs> early for that one. Something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too early. <laughs> Get up, Rain. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, let's look at this one. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. 
big, big and a little What's more left out of the about. ship move? Oh. Uh, they just started the ship move because they're adjusting the heading. Okay. Oh, there's a big thing to the left, maybe. Oh, I think that's what we saw last night. Uh, well, we didn't see it, but the other watch saw it. Go ahead and zoom. Uh, shoot. It's called Ser Serin. It's like C E R I. Yes. Oh, look how pretty. Ooh, and look at that. Ooh. We get the mouth, too. Serentherian, I think, yeah. Um, apparently, they can get up and move. Oh, yeah, Serentheria. Really? Apparently. There are two, uh, two anemone. Shoot, where'd my chat go? So, how would they move? Would their um, tentacles basically just, like, make them swim in the water or, or just crawl it's a lot of weird wiggling action when they do it yeah they kind of just swim really awkwardly but yeah we're good uh, but then I, th I think there was a big stock on the left maybe okay there's something Worldwide. there was also a paragorgia or hexa a hemicorallium mm -hmm. to the right i saw that yeah. oh did i not there get it, it no. Yeah, this thing, whatever that white. Oh, not nothing too crazy. Nope. Thought it might be attached to something cool. Just All good. another sea whip. Just keep going. You want to zoom? That's fine. Nah. Nah. Not there you go, Loopy. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> not good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good enough. Yeah, I love it when we see things that are blue at these depths because that's oh, so trip. rare. Yeah. Um, Helps when you come down and shine all this light on everything, yes. show all the colors. <laughs> Expose them for what they really are. I know in my mind, you know, because I spend, we spend so much time looking at the seafloor like this, I'm like, yeah, it's always right down there. This is... <laughs> this is what it looks like there. <laughs> but clearly no, not. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it looks like literally nothing. Very dark all the time. Alright, so I have a question. Something in Atalanta's camera that's bobbing up and down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always fun when you see something interesting in Atalanta. You're like, oh, okay, wait, wait, it's come hey, back again. It's, it's gone. gone. <laughs> and it's gone. Daniel, what's your question? Uh, so, <laughs> the octopus egg case we found earlier oh, was, yeah. uh, was that like, is oh. something that oh. like it was hatched oh, already or? Yeah, there were like four of them, so and three of them were hatched already, right? Two, yes, so two were hatched, one was unhatched. We um, separately sampled the one. Mm -hmm. I don't think we know exactly what it is, it, but yeah, it probably is like a cephalopod egg. We didn't open it, it up. No. We kind of was talking to Brian, debating, like, is it better to open it up and, and know a little bit more about it. what it is and put that detail in a log somewhere? So when it's at the MCZ researchers potentially know what they're looking at or, or what they would be requesting right or or is it better to leave it intact right but Un undecided so far mm -hmm. still intact yeah but it's something in there because the eyes uh, are looking at zero <laughs> hey, i'm telling you telling you if you look up that one pokemon it looked exactly like that <laughs> My advisor was, was always playing that. We would like be traveling in the field and he'd be like, oh, I gotta <laughs> get the Pokemon from this area. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow. It, it was fun, but it would like make your phone overheat and drain your battery. Oh, man. Yeah, those location yeah. services, man. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Oh, I think that's another one, actually. Um, that's a strong one. Oh. Been going to the gym. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Patrick been working out. <laughs> that's it's really pretty. 
It almost looks yeah, like two starfish on top of each other. It does. Yeah. yeah. Bulbous sea star. Muscular. <laughs> Proper um, terminology. I think it's some kind of goniosterid. Uh, oh, it's probably so Sarastor. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Looks like um, Aster, sorry. Looks like an orange. The outside of an orange. Yeah. Oh, it does. But yeah, the rind. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and there's a sea whip, uh, a curled sea whip right next to it. I think we got good enough that's pictures. That's good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. If we want, well, if I we can look at this. Uh, uh, yeah, the spiral uh, to the right. Oh gosh, it's it's like right. invisible. Well, yeah, I can't see. I don't see it. I like only saw Ooh. it in still cam. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Well, it's, it's gone. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> I think it's gonna be like impossible to see. Are we good but to keep the ship on a, uh, do another move for the ship? Uh, not yet, just wait a minute. Something. Oh. Oh. Stick pad these See how close red. the vehicles are mm -hmm. coming up? Hard, just hard to tell. Yeah. It's super small though. Hey. That's a cool shot. Yeah. Yeah, there like there is so many of those all around. Whenever we do our up close shots, I always see, see little, little, ones, little, yeah. little um, corals like that. Daniel, is there a question of the day or night? Or morning? Yeah, we need to start uh -huh. doing like you know, yeah. ri ri ritual, routine, traditional <laughs> thing. They have a, they look at the word of the day on the previous mm -hmm. watch. I think Did that's a really? good thing to, to do. Do a ten meter move. Yeah, yeah today okay. it's sacrosanct. Sacrosanct. What does that yes. mean? It's kind of like holy, huh. but not necessarily religious. That I, you know. Hmm. I guess I have another one. So, what mm -hmm. was? What is everyone's? Favorite breakfast food? Oh, um, French toast. Smoothie bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those I really good. love. Smoothie bowl? Yeah, yeah. like oh. you make a smoothie, like, you know, like an acai bowl, except I don't put acai in it. You just make a smoothie bowl, but you don't as add as much liquid, and then it's kind of like a, a fun little treat S in the morning. But is it, is, is it, is it smoothied, or it's is a it like smoothie a deconstructed? That's it's a smoothie that's thicker. It's like you're eating a smoothie. It's a smoothie, but it's thicker because you leave it icier, so, so it's, it's kind of like an ice cream. So it's like a paste. Like uh, a yeah, purple paste. Like in between cream. smoothie and paste, uh, yeah, okay. and then you can put toppings on it and eat yeah, it as if it's like, like a yogurt. Like I'll put on almonds and chia seeds. It's very yeah. scoopable. Scoopable. Interesting. Yeah, it's very so I've heard of it. Uh, go ahead and zoom. Oh, that's a cool. It's like dessert for breakfast. Yeah. But it's good for you. When I'm not being healthy, oh, I love a nice. cinnamon roll. <laughs> you love a what? A cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, where do you get yours from? Uh, cinnabon? What is that? Oh, do you I see love this? cinnabon. No, oh I do because I'm vegan. So. Uh, what was that? On this uh, still cam? Yeah, I think we're good. Yes. Yeah. Still cam, yeah. there's this your bulbous thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. idea. Yeah, like I said, mine is definitely French toast. Mm. Um, oh, love yummy. French toast sticks. Has to be mine too. Um, it's a good one. But most of the time, I normally, um, if I do eat breakfast, it's like a bowl of cereal and a cinnamon toast crunch. Um, so, I mean, okay, if I want to go with like something that I eat like a lot, it's just like bread and cheese. <laughs> That's <laughs> like a really like not like spreadable cheese. Usually, like goat cheese or something. That's something I just grew up with and like tea. Um, very, <laughs> very Iranian like breakfast. Mm. But if we want to go with something that I eat now that's like a treat, pho. That is incredible in the morning. You eat that in the morning? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's. Really? I think it's traditionally actually like a breakfast food. Huh. Um, but pho is incredible. As a morning Really soup. breakfast? Yes. Oh. I know, like, kanji. Put in another 10 meters. Interesting. I try to make it kanji. I wonder, is it different? Is, like, Vietnamese, is, like, breakfast pho, pho different from... No, it's, no, 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 it's just normal. Yeah, um, pho oh is God. mainly a breakfast food in Vietnam. Huh. 
I so good. love me some avocado toast. Yes, that oh, was the other some thing. Some eggs and tomato. Exactly. And like everything that. but the bagel seasoning on there. Yes, we, oh. we, we, Sarah, yes, exactly that. But you know what? A couple months ago I started doing, I saw it, and I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. So I made it. I did toast and put a little honey on it uh -huh. instead of butter, and then cottage cheese, yeah. and then egg and tomato oh. Oh, on that there. Sounds that sounds good. lovely. Oh, my God. You're going to have to try that Whoa. while you're home. Yeah. You I had me, and then you lost me cottage that. cheese. I know, I know. <laughs> it's scary, and it's messy, and it's but everywhere. It's, it's really and good. It, it's really it good. It is. It's really good with that little honey underneath. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, mm. Mm. I have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> when I get home, it's that's what I'm making immediately. <laughs> texture-wise, texture -wise, it's unfortunate, but taste-wise, incredible. So yeah. I just don't understand it. It just feels <laughs> like... I, I should have been eating it. I like, thought so too. Like, like cheese. No, milk does like. I don't know. I'm expired. a big texture eater, and I really like the texture of yeah. cottage cheese. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I didn't when I was younger, and I, I love cottage cheese now. But I like the toast, a little bit of crunch, and um, this thing. I, I can't talk about I don't it anymore. See what you're seeing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sediment. Sorry. Sediment. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Dirt. <laughs> Sorry. Abort. Abort. Yeah. I mean, you want to get even crazier? Throw some avocado on top, too. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about the bad. avocado with the cottage cheese. I know. No, I, I, those I textures done it yet. are a lot. No, I see it. But <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I'm just like, Too more, fast. more of everything. <laughs> more of all the things. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I have a bunch of ingredients, and I'm like, I could make this, or I could make this, and I want to eat all of it, so maybe I'll just try to put it all together. Yeah. That's me in the mornings. I'll uh, eat, like, leftover pizza, a bowl of cereal. <laughs> A banana, <laughs> maybe like a, a half of the dinner from the night before. Yep. Mm -hmm. A soda, orange juice. <laughs> oh soda. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 now. You threw it, <laughs> yeah, it took a really, that took I've, a turn. I've gone to the habit to where if I can't decide which cereal I want, I just combine the cereal. Hey, oh. that's smart though. <laughs> yeah, 99.9% of the time I, I have a smoothie. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I just, I hate cleaning. The smooth the blender. Oh well, you oh, just put too. a little so soap bad water with in the blender and then mm. blend it. And then yeah, with the bullets. <laughs> yeah, I don't. My roommate doesn't. Yeah, has like a traditional blender. But maybe if I'm feeling fancy and buy a kind of magic bullet. bullet type thing. Yeah. I would say yeah. yeah. I have a bullet and it's pretty easy to clean. Oh, yeah, this is just great. another paramecid. I believe. Yeah. Actually, I think we're good. All good. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Aboard. Now, here's another question I have. Oh. Is Are corals in any cuisines, like, are they some no. species edible at all? <laughs> oh, no. I don't think so. Kind of crunchy. Yeah. I don't think there's much nutritional value there. Yeah. Or even if you're just thinking about edibility, no. Mm -hmm. um, I am curious, though. I mean... Do people eat like anemones? But like, it's not. It's still very different from a ah, coral. Yes. Yeah. Corals have a, a toxin that's toxic to humans called literally palytoxin. And mm. yeah, it can cause all sorts of indigestion. <laughs> yeah, I just can't imagine eating coral. I feel like that's like eating like glass. I don't know. Yeah. I think the closest we can get to eating coral is by eating, like, Cheetos or something. Cheetos? What? Yeah. Yeah. That is Just not like the, even close. The Where did you get that from? Yeah. Daniel. <laughs> we got to have a shit. talk. Oh. <laughs> 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 what about, it'd be like eating, like, a shell of something, like the calcium yeah. carbonate. Yeah. Or even, like, the, um, like, bones when you eat, like, sardines or something. But, like, they're so small, I don't, I don't know. Did you get your sardine snack? Oh my god, yeah, I did. It was so good. Oh my god, I saw you eating them in there. I was like, I'm oh. sorry. I, I was really, <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping they. I've never had that brand before. They were just like the Costco ones, and I don't have a Costco member me membership, so they were new. Um, but they weren't uh, that. Another fishy. ten meter move. So, oh, so it was a special treat. It was. They were really buttery, actually, because they were mm. boneless and skinless. Um, they have a terrible <laughs> smell. Boneless. That's good. I, I know. Like I know. It sounds dish. horrible. I know. I know. I know. But trust me. Trust me. Sardines are so good. Um, they're so much better yeah. for you than like tuna. 
I'll have to try one. I and, know. I've had and very sustainable. <laughs> I just hope they taste better than anchovies. I don't like those. Oh no, there's yeah. So sardines are like a very bi it's a very big umbrella term. Um, there's like a whole bunch of different fish that classify as sardines. Um, they even call like like canned mussels like sardines basically just because it's kind of like the same. What? No way. It's like kind of under like the same tinned <laughs> fish sort of vibe, but um, highly recommend. <laughs> Whenever I think of people who like sardines, I think of, um, this is a deep cut, Claudia with a chance of meatballs. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> um, so I, I'll age myself here. I think of The Burbs with What's Tom that? Hanks. Oh my god. Is that a movie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. I look how to get quiet. He's trying to eat, like, crackers at the neighbors with sardines, and then he's like, gagging but like sneezing and having <laughs> some sort of like, <laughs> newspaper out of the corner and it's like it's you'll just have to look it up <laughs> that's fair literally <laughs> watch that movie like once or twice a year with my oh. <laughs> to be fair i'm just not a avid movie person i haven't watched like many movies like like we were saying the other watch like no star trek no star wars no yeah, you're one Marvel. of the lucky ones <laughs> yeah you haven't gone down the trap yeah. I just feel like I never have time for like, a whole movie. Yeah, and like the Marvel, everyone's like, you gotta watch the Marvel, like, it's universe. Too many. And I'm like, the, no, I, they're, no. They're, they're done. If oh you my didn't, god, if I'm you exhausted. Grow up with them, it's like, <laughs> yeah. no. There's too many. I sometimes get upset that we don't come up with, like, any new stories. I feel like every big movie is just a sequel or a prequel to a I thing. No, don't you miss going to the theater and seeing the actual films? Yeah. Like, god, I miss yes. that. Everything is a know. superhero. Thing. Yeah. 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 Like the. The new, the one that won all the awards, everything everywhere. Uh, all awards. Oh my God! Yeah, that's a great one. I really, yeah. the, I really like that. Yeah. It's a really it's great movie. Need yeah. to see that ASAP. I still have it. Um, go ahead and zoom. I, think I can't imagine another no Star Trek in your life. So. Yeah, you need so. that. Seems rough. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I know. I just, I don't have. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm saying, if you like superhero stuff, you, oh, that might be a. Is it from Noid? That looks very Primnoid-y to me, it actually. It does. With the upwards, and dense. Actually, how Primnoid-y this looks almost makes me think some of the earlier stuff was Primnoid. Yeah. Because this looks a lot more Primnoid-y. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Norella. Yeah, uh, I was going to say. It kind of branches differently, though. Let's look this up. We're good there, thanks. We're good. We can Kay. look at our pictures. Okay, total random question. Has anyone seen or Another heard 10 of meters. Sorry, say it one more time. Mm -hmm. Have we seen Another what? Another 10-meter ship move. Harry and the Hendersons. No. Yeah, oh, I, I, can't, I saw it, but I can't remember <laughs> it. <laughs> I've seen it Wait, before. have we seen what? That's, a <laughs> that's me and Sarah up here. Like, oh, yeah, that was a great movie. <laughs> well, <laughs> 40-year-old movie. <laughs> Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'll look that oh up. My gosh. I can't remember Bigfoot. it, though. Was it's it about Bigfoot. Was it Chevy Chase, or is it a Chevy Chase-like movie without uh, Chevy Chase, I think? I, it's, it's more serious. No, it's not him. I, I think I actually well. have seen this before. Oh, it's so George. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I have probably, like, twice, but that's about it. Oh, it's yeah, like that's the up. same time as, like, the burbs and uh, just... Good so movies, like the classic. 80s, 90s? Yeah. yeah. 80s, that one is. Yeah, so now my, like, nephews. Yeah, and my sisters 1987. Are going back and forth over, like, oh, what are their old movies? Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And yeah, like, I've seen all that kind of stuff. And, oh, my gosh, Little Shop of Horrors. And so I now, love like, Little Shop of Horrors. Those kids get to watch all those. And <laughs> I didn't like how mean the plants were in that movie. <laughs> the what? Yeah, I remember being shop scared of, of it. Yeah. Yeah. Good job on but, the submarine. Uh, so that's what some of those great. anemones look like. The uh, yes. Venus flytrap ones. <laughs> it looks like they come out of that movie. Which movie? Uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. I loved my kid, like the childhood movies that we had, at least in my age group. Like I liked The Monsters, Inc. And like mm -hmm. Ants. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, I used to oh, we had those ants. weird, like, ant, what was it? Well, there was, like, Bugs Life, and then there was, mm -hmm. like... It was literally ants. Ant, yeah. Ants or ant, ant something. You had that bee one with 
Seinfeld, Jerry. Oh, I, I didn't Seinfeld. see that. Oh, yeah, the B movie. Uh, the B movie. Oh, B yeah, movie. I don't remember that one. That might have been later. Yeah, that's been a meme in the past few years. Just the whole movie in and of itself. All the Pixar movies we had were so good. Uh, do a 20 meter move. Okay. I was on the hunt for a uh, VCR uh, last year, and I finally <laughs> found one in a really? resale shop, and it, oh, it's in great condition. But I, I plugged it all up, plugged it in, and stuff, and then there was a tape in it, and I ejected oh, it. Amazing. And it was <laughs> figure skating from like 1986. I love <laughs> that. <laughs> oh gosh, I remember growing up watching those things, just being like Christy Yamaguchi, and like, oh, I'm yeah. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> so remember everybody used to tape everything. Yeah. <laughs> Fast forward through the commercial. And breaks. the timers, everybody, you know, that would always get messed up. Yeah. Come home, you record the wrong oh, channel or so something. So mad. <laughs> <laughs> or someone recorded over your tape. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> My dad had a video shop and. I visited him a couple months ago. He's like, oh, go back to my pool barn. I got some old videos. And everything is covered in dirt and dust. From like a 20, rental store? Yes, oh, from amazing. like 20 years ago. I'm still cleaning it up. Yeah, sorry, he's really, really old movies. It's interesting to think just how old a lot of that technology is, and yet so much data and history is on it. Mm -hmm potentially lost the time because nobody watches it anymore? I do. There's <laughs> <laughs> a little jelly or something. Yeah, I like the classics too. Particularly with anything with Stallone. That's my fave. <laughs> Say that again? Any, anything with like Sylvester Stallone is good. Oh. Like, Sylvester oh, Stallone? Big <laughs> like Sylvester that. Stallone fan? Uh, fan? <laughs> from childhood I've been in love and to this yeah, day I still same. am <laughs> <laughs> like I had the six foot pop up figures of Rocky throughout oh my, my room you God. did alright kindred spirit here <laughs> pictures with my hands and like his hand things on like <laughs> the rock and roll like <laughs> wall I like how timidly you said that Amber like you didn't you wanted to share but you didn't want anyone to hear you there is no shame <laughs> you're like no well, I think I, uh, people so, would so expect it of me, you know, just like, oh. I don't know, my energy wouldn't necessarily say, like, I love 80s, uh, uh, just action flicks. Oh, yeah, oh, don't get me going. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. That's Great all movies. we watched when I was younger is those movies, <laughs> yeah. all, all the action yeah. movies. Favorite Come movie of all time, Demolition Man. Yeah. Number one. I watched that recently, though, with someone, and they were like, might we be able to <laughs> crawl up the slope just a <laughs> tad bit faster? Yeah, we're waiting on the ship now, so the okay. slope's just relieved, so. Okay, cool. We're gone back to bigger ship Gosh. moves, but we just had to wait for it to start happening. Yeah, my one <laughs> friend's a big, like, so, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, so we're always going head to head on that <laughs> kind of stuff. Like Daylight, do you remember Daylight? Yeah. Cliffhanger. <gasps> oh, Cliffhanger's so good! Yeah. I mean, I've seen clips of I've that. I've got What's them all. I've got all those VHS and DVDs. Yeah. <laughs> something. Oh my gosh. You want to keep a movie there, girl. Ship moves? <laughs> yeah. Uh, does it? It gets it's so steeper white. again there. It probably is, but right. Not yeah, right in front of us. It's some kind of a Uh, here. There's, yeah, there's a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Be aware of it, buddy. You can keep calling them in. Probably even 30 meters at a time. Just tried to zoom in on it. My scroll thing. Uh, go ahead and zoom. So dark. Oh, what's going on? Oh, that's why. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. You, can do, like you can probably do 30s okay. if you want, but just keep okay. them coming. It looks like a Magnus Weird. Spiralis. Like a little Magnus Spiralis, yeah. Uh -huh. There we go. <laughs> that's uh, good. Thank we you. Can just go ahead and do 30. ID. Yeah, we're Thank good. you. Thanks. Cool. Uh, I think I 
Yeah, made a new sure best friend. You good? Ooh. <laughs> indeed, Actually, indeed. that could be Bella. Yeah, just do a Ritigorgia. I think, no, it's or Magnus Bellas, yeah. Is it because it goes down really far? Yeah, they're all like more spread out. The Bella is usually like really compressed. Really? Mm -hmm. Just a young or a small one. Right. The other one that's a little hard is um, Tricolis looks like Bella, but it tapers a little bit and mm. get at the end, like it, or like lower down. I see. Oof. Yeah. 